And Joseph, you have been in camps with Tyson Fury, who was preparing for Deontay Wilder. What have you taken from those camps, if anything? You know, I rely on Andy Lee, my trainer, to give me um, advice and to come up with a plan. But Tyson has a lot of um, advice as well and knowledge on Deontay Wilder, being the person to beat and also fighting him three times. So I'm going to lean on Tyson Fury in this camp. Well, look, one of Tyson's advantages was he was he was just so big. He, he may be 50 pounds heavier at times. What are your advantages over Deontay Wilder? So you're going to see. You're going to see December 23. I feel like in my career, sort of went down a bit, but I got a spark back. You know, and I'm going to come in for a lot of movement, a lot of speed. What was that? I don't know. Okay. Nice. Said lights out. For you. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Let's bring in Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, it's, it's, as I said to Shelley, it's been so long since we've seen you. I think we've seen about three minutes in a, in a few years. You must be so uh, ready to come back and show the world what you can do. Tell us. Um, it's been a journey. What's up? Hello, everyone. It's been a journey uh, for me. I'm very excited to be here on today. Um, what, max, what a magnificent card that we have. We have so many, so many warriors on this card, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's overwhelming to be in the same room with so many, so many other fighters, you know. Um, some you done had in camp, some you done competed against, and some you're looking forward to in the future to, to compete against. And it's just a blessing to be able to have uh, so many promoters to come together. You know, um, Queensberry um, promotion, Match room and um, last but not least, your e excellency. Um, I appreciate you guys so much, you know, and and the, and and the staff and put this that put this magnificent card together. And I'm just ready to go, you know. Um, when people come to see heavyweight boxing, they come to see excitement, but most of all, they come to see knockouts. And one thing for sure, you know, when I come, that's what I come to deliver. You know, and uh, come December 23rd, I'm coming to do the same thing. I'm on the same mission, you know, to regain my title back and um, to um, unify the division. That's my main goal. I got everything I want to need in life. But to come back and to finish what I started, it's going to mean everything to me. To just put that, that little icing on the cake with everything else that I've accomplished, the statue that I have and uh, many more things that will come in the future. What do you think of Joseph Parker? This is a fight that was talked about a few years ago when you were WBC world champion, he was WBO world champion. It could have been a unification at that time. You were linked to fight then. What, what do you think of him? Well, many times throughout my career, I have many, well, I didn't have the opportunity to, to have unification fights. I've delivered opportunity to guys, but the energy hasn't been returned back to me for various reasons, but you know, God is good at the end of the day. And with Joseph Parker, you know, um, I think highly of him. He's, a, he's an amazing human being, you know, as a man. And uh, he's a great fighter as well. And it's gonna be uh, a remarkable feeling to finally be able to share the ring with him once and for all. Well, Deontay, I've heard you refer to your power as a blessing and a curse. What does that mean? I mean, it's a blessing because I have the, the ability to, to knock a single man out with one punch, you know. This is something that's been with me all my life, not something that's just been developed. And the curse has been that I'm able to do that. It allow people to shy away from me, to become fearful of, of, of what may happen, you know, when they, when they fight against me. And sometimes that can be, uh, harmful to the to the to the business of boxing because as fans they just want to see the best fight the best no matter what win lose or draw and that's what it should be about all these fighters up here we're all warriors and i always said all the time and i'll forever say it to the end of me that we risk our lives for other entertainment you know and that right there is is <laughs> that in itself is it is, is just yeah, man, it's just, you wouldn't know what it feels like unless you're in, the, in as a fighter and get in the ring, you know. Many people talk what they talk and they say what they say. But until you're able to get in the ring and see what that feels like, 
and, and go through all the training and all the ups and downs that come with that and your personal life as well on top of that. It's a lot. It's a lot you have to deal with. It's a lot that you have to go through. But at the end of the day, man, you know, we do it for our fans. We do it for the love that we have for this business and um, to take care of our families. One thing you said there, Deontay, you said about the power of being a blessing and a curse. You said it's a curse because it can make other heavyweights shy away from you. Do you think any heavyweights on these two tables have ever shied away from a fight with Deontay Wilder? You're so amazing. <laughs> but, I, you know, hey, I don't really have to say much. Y'all have so, heard me many, many times throughout the years. What I've been saying and what I've been talking about or whatever. So I don't, I don't think that I really have to necessarily just, just call out anything or point out any, any, any names or whatever, you know, at this moment in time. At this moment in time, my mind is solely set on Joseph Parker. It's, that's it. Shut your mouth. <laughs> That, that, that is a question that uh, I actually have as well. Thank you, Derek Chisora. Um, do, do you plan on knocking out Joseph Parker? And if so, which I mean, round? And Joseph, you should be all ears here. That's what I come to do, you know? And um, that's my only mission to come to do. When I, when I look at the heavyweight division, that's what, you know, you know, win is a good thing. It's just like basketball, you know? I can shoot threes, I can shoot twos, but it ain't nothing like a dunk for me. You know, everybody different. Everybody got their own, you know, personal thing that they like to do. But that's what I'm known for. And not just in boxing, in real life as well. You know what I mean? So I just, I'm glad and I'm blessed to be able to bring it to something that means something. You know, it ain't just, just doing it for recreational. You know, we're doing it for a purpose, a reason. We, we, all of us uplift people, we motivate, and we inspire people. And that's what I want to continue to do, to uplift, motivate, and inspire. And if anybody get inspired, inspiration off of me knocking people out and seeing that, the excitement, that's what I'm here to do, you know. Um, I mean well for everyone, but we have a job to do at the end of the day. One final thing, Deontay, look, a fight that you have been linked to for so many years. I understand Joseph Parker is your next fight, but I can't ignore that I have yourself there and I have Anthony Joshua here, a fight that has been linked for so long. You've talked about having to get a plane to come over here and speak to Anthony Joshua. Do you have anything to say to him here at this press conference table? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good to be in the same room with him, to see him um, face to face, you know. It's been a long time coming. I uh, wish you nothing but the best, bro. And um, hopefully soon we can get it on in the ring and give the people what they want once and for all. But I wish you nothing but the best. Even if it doesn't happen. But I, I believe it's gonna happen. I believe it will. It's about that time. But even if it don't, I wish you nothing but the best. Nothing less. Thank you, Deontay. Okay, um, let's finish up with Frank Warren. Frank, uh, this has 